Hi love, it's Christina Rilo here with a divine spark for your heart from my heart. And I have been thinking a lot about the amount of pressure so many of us feel. Do you relate to this? Do you relate? I've been talking to so many women and I've been feeling this way myself. When um, you think about the life that you want to create for yourself, the dreams that you have, the, the things you want to do, the places you want to see, the things that you want to create, and it's all good stuff, right? It's like, it's like, it's like amazing stuff that you want to create for your life and, and you want to do in your life and you want to give and, and, and it's all good, but there's a way that that goodness can actually really weigh you down. For example, I was, um, this happens to me all the time. I have this vision um, that I've had for, gosh, now seven years where um, I would love to bring all the self-love work that I have created to schools and to prison systems and to um, women who are going through rehab and to just people that really need the work and to be able to just give it freely. And I haven't totally been able to make that happen, make it happen yet. I, um, I you know, did a pilot in um, a school in Chicago this year, which was amazing. And there has been, the work has been taught in a prison or two with amazing results. But I haven't been able to get it to the vision that I see in my brain and in my mind and feel in my heart. So I can put all this pressure on myself to be there now, to try to make it happen. And so I'm curious for you, where are you putting pressure on yourself to be somewhere that you're not? Where are you putting pressure on yourself to go faster than is actually in divine alignment? That you're putting pressure on yourself to have something be in form that's just not there yet. And I want to invite you to really be honest with yourself right now. Like right now, just admit to me, admit to you, I am putting a whole boatload of pressure on myself to have this figured out, to have this be in form, to have this be materialized the way that I see it. Just go ahead, admit it right now. <sighs> Let me just take a big breath with me and just set it down because here's the thing. I know that you want to be in control. I want to be in control. I know you want the things that are in your heart and desire to bring into the world to be here now. But here's the thing, and this is an important thing this week I've been thinking a lot about because it's a week of freedom, July 4th here in America, and in the beginning of the halfway point of the year, is that when we pressure ourselves that way, when you try to make things happen, you become a slave to your own desires. You become a slave to your own projects. You become a slave to all these things that then suck the joy out of actually creating them. And that is not how the divine has created this for us. Now, this actually means oftentimes you have to slow down. And you have to listen and you have to tune in to your heart and to spirit to say, what are you trying to show me? What are you trying to tell me about this thing that I so want to be realized? Whether that's a home or it's a relationship or it's a job or it's a project or it's a vision. What is the divine trying to tell you? And will you just slow down here with me for a moment to tap into that? Because if you don't slow down to listen to those soul whispers, the universe slows you down in ways that don't feel so good. For me this week, it was an oven door literally coming unhinged and falling on my toe. And it bruised my toe. I've been limping along. And I knew what that message was all about. It was slow down, and, and I'm like, okay, if that's what it takes. I don't want any more messages. Two years ago, Noah, my beloved, who many of you know, had a stroke. He wasn't able to slow down to listen to what the divine was trying to get through to him. And so I'm asking you right now, beloved, to slow down. And to tune in and just put your hand on your heart 
and to take a deep breath into that place where you're feeling pressure to have it figured out, to have it be in form, to know what it's going to look like. And take a deep inhale in and exhale out through your nose. And just blow that pressure out. Blow that fear out. Blow that doubt out. And then take another inhale in and out. And just tap into your heart. Open up your crown like a moon roof to allow the divine to come in. Allow your soul to speak to you right now. What does it have to tell you about the path to this thing that you are desiring? What's needed now? What's the information, the wisdom, the knowledge? What do you need to know and do right now? And just breathe into that. And just start there. Just take that next step. You might be hearing in the background some construction. There's a house being constructed down the street here. And as I'm listening to that, it's reminding me that the divine is always in the background constructing it for us. For me right now, it's also my house. I don't know where I'm going to be living you all. I moved from L.A. back to Sonoma. I don't. I, I want to live back here in the Bay Area. I love to live in Sonoma. I love to maybe live in even South Salido, but I don't know when it's coming, and I don't know what it's looking like, and I could put all this pressure on myself, which, by the way, I have been doing a little bit and be on Craigslist and trying to find it, figure it out, but I'm trying to remember the divine is in the background constructing this for me. So remember, whatever that is for you that you're wanting to bring into form and you're wanting and desiring, the divine is in the background constructing it. So take the pressure off. Slow down and listen. And just keep following that. That's your path to freedom. So with that, I am sending you much love this week and an invitation to take the pressure off, to breathe in and follow the path one step at a time. Remember, the divine is constructing it all for you in divine timing. Sending you much love.